up everyone of a pro modeling back again and this is what we're gonna be doing this time Okay, everything's all unpacked here. And we got these stickers here. And you got a choice, you can use either the, uh, the stick-on ones or the regular decal ones. I choose the decals because, well, they're a lot smoother. These things have a bit of a ridge to them when you put your uh, final coat on. And, uh, well, it looks a little bit too toy-ish, I guess. I don't know where to say it. So, this, gone. Save it for something else. And this here is what I'm going to use. Now they've got everything out here. And of course, you got to make sure you read through the book here first before you actually start anything. Because if you go about doing all this, without actually reading through you're well let's just say it's not gonna turn out exactly way the way you want um, so let's see here going back to the beginning over here I got uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Of course you want to check out everything here and make sure all the parts on everything here what the diagram says here and to me looking around I don't see anything missing which looks good um, and we got uh, let's see here where's the uh, it shows you all the symbols here what they mean make sure you uh, pay close attention to those and Painting index for the colors. The uh, groovy train, where is that? It's usually in the beginning. Oh, maybe it's right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh, stupid light. Gives you all the deco placements and everything there. But what you want to do, and it shows all the different colors. For the model itself but then in the end though it's your model you can paint it green or orange or pink if you want it doesn't really matter but if you're a perfectionist kind of like me you want to make it look as realistic to the movie version of the slave one but again you know that's that's your personal preference whatever you want it to make it look like. Okay, so uh, under the first step actually is to, let's see, actually, where are the engines here? The engines on the back. Is you want to, get the silver, or what I like to use is chrome silver on the inside, the interior of the models to uh, keep any light from leaking out. But this model here is quite fragmented and there's a lot of parts. Um, my very first Slave 1 that I did didn't have this many parts. So you have to pick and choose which ones get the interior spray or not. It's uh, kind of a toss up. Like here's the uh, the engine ports here. Probably get the insides of those sprayed with that chrome silver. Or you can use black, whatever. Anything that stops the uh, uh, the light bleed through. 
I probably don't have to worry about this because that's not that's like right here in this section here but like for the cockpit if that's that's actually built separately from the outside edge here so I might not have to worry about that because I have probably like a little light there and one there sort of shining through so for these sections here I might have to have silver in them but I'd have to take a few of the parts off and actually find out for myself um, okay so let's actually get some stuff going here okay now to start with as you can see here the plan is called for doing a Django Fett and some Boba Fett and putting together the uh, cockpit here first and the uh, instructions are specifically clear to follow it along step by step okay so right here we um right here and don't really need to worry about that it's just the size comparison to the rest of the ship just the two pilots here what I do though, even before taking them off the tree here, my slippers, and then I'm going to okay, keep them on the tree as much as I can. So, let's see here. <clears throat> Very carefully trim these off. Trim off some of the flashing. One thing I like to use. This big baby right here, my magnifier. Oh, I tell you, it relieves a lot of eye strain. So I'm going to do close-up work, very, very delicate work. It comes in very handy. And you can have more control over. Painting. Grab this little puppy. Has his own magnifier, but very rarely use it because I got this thing. So, <coughs> and these sideways. Clamp it on like that. Now, what you gotta look for over here. See, so we got little images here of uh, Django and Boba. It's, it's still kind of hard to make out the colors. So, what we got here, uh, we got uh, Django Fett's colors here and Boba's. So, I just go by that. If I don't get them exactly right, the colors, so what? Use that to follow along. Now I got colors here: uh, silver, blue, metallic. Um, according to the thing here, it's it's pretty close to the color they're matching. Um, it's flat white, and I got this. Uh, color here for their skin color. we have got intermediate blue, kind of a bluish gray kind of color. Um, so that's uh, for clothes. And let's see, we got the... Uh... Oh, good gravy. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is uh, chrome silver. Chrome silver. Is that one there? Oh, I didn't want to get confused. Anyway. <coughs> Now, we work on these guys. 
this is where this puppy comes in. <laughs> Very handy. Okay, now to do that really fine work, I got these really fine brushes here. Probably gonna start with this one right here. It's just got the tiniest tip. All right, let's get her going. Okay, um, <coughs> what I'm gonna do is start off doing your skin color here. Make sure you shake it up. Just a little bit on the brush, you don't need very much. Because these uh, images are really, really tiny. Uh, Oops, wait a minute. Brush. Just barely got to touch it into the paint. And I usually keep my pinky out like this to stabilize my hand. I'm going to try to use whatever I can to stabilize it. Well, it looks like if it was close enough to the table, I would just use the table. It doesn't take very much. You don't want to overload your brush. Just because these images are so, so tiny. Just gotta, just gotta touch it, that's it. Okay, here we go, see so far. And uh, that's, that's it. The skin tone. Now, make sure you clean out your brush. So with this, I just use my, my cleaner here because I use oil-based paints. Try not to uh, mix up your paints like oils and acrylics because um, they'll crack. I learned that from experience. Okay, uh, next, 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 next. What's next here? Django fits close. So blue gray, which is uh, an intermediate blue. Where's my intermediate blue? There it is. Shake, shake, shake. Again, use the same brush, mix the paints up, take the excess off, oops, sorry about that, Chief. okay, here we go, uh, so I don't have to worry about his sleeves, Now, this section over here is his body armor. That's a silvery color, so don't paint that. It's down below there. If I get a little bit of paint there, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Once it dries, I'll just paint right over top of it. Back. 
back here. Oops. Oh, I don't want to get hairs on the roof. It's from my cat. Silly kitty. Up around here. I'm telling you, this uh, magnifier is one of my most important tools. Eye strain is greatly reduced. You don't really need to paint the whole back. You never see it. Okay, Boba Fett's clothes is like a flat white. Sure about something? Look at him again. on the glass, not on the image back there, unfortunately. start working on the rest of the cockpit.